Hello there, today we are going to review the most exciting concepts in technology, do you dare? Ever wondered what different types of storage and desktop computers are and how they differ from each other? Well, today we're going to unravel that mystery together. In the world of desktop computers, storage isn't just a one-size-fits-all solution. It's an intricate universe housing three main types, hard disk drives or HDDs, solid state drives or SSDs, and the new kit on the block, M2S. Each of these storage types presents its unique features, strengths, and weaknesses. Understanding the differences between them can be a game changer, transforming your computing experience from ordinary to extraordinary. It's like choosing the right engine for your car. You'll want the one that best suits your journey. So buckle up as we embark on this enlightening journey to the core of computer storage. Now let's dive deeper and explore each of these storage types separately. First up, we have the hard disk drive or HDD, the oldest and most common type of storage. A true classic, the HDD has been around since the mid 20th century and it's still standing strong. Its working mechanism is fascinating. It functions much like a record player, with data stored in a series of concentric tracks on spinning disks, known as platters. A read-write head moves across these platters to access or store data, a process that's both intricate and elegant in its simplicity. Now, what makes the HDD a crowd favorite? For starters, it offers a significant amount of storage capacity. From a few hundred gigabytes to several terabytes, there's an HDD for every need. This makes it an excellent choice for those who require large amounts of storage without breaking the bank. HDDs are, in fact, the most cost-effective storage option per gigabyte, making them ideal for budget-conscious users. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Every rose has its thorns, and for the HDD, it's the speed. HDDs are slower than their solid-state counterparts. This is due to their mechanical nature. The read-write head has to physically move to the correct track on the platter, which takes time. This means that if you're looking for blazing fast boot times or quick file transfers, an HDD might not be your first choice. Another downside to the HDD is its susceptibility to physical damage. Being mechanical, HDDs have moving parts that can fail or be damaged by sudden shocks or movements. That's why you've got to handle these drives with care. Despite these drawbacks, the HDD remains a stalwart player in the world of computer storage. It provides a balance of capacity and cost that's hard to beat, and its longevity speaks volumes about its reliability. While HDDs may not be the fastest, they've served us faithfully for decades and continue to be a reliable choice for many. Next on our list is the Solid State Drive, or SSD, a modern alternative to the traditional HDD. Imagine the speed of a cheetah, sleek and swift, racing across the savanna. That's the kind of speed we're talking about when we bring up SSDs. Unlike HDDs which use spinning disks and a moving read-write head, SSDs have no moving parts. Instead, they store information on interconnected flash memory chips. This design is what makes SSDs incredibly fast, allowing your computer to boot up in seconds and applications to load almost instantaneously. But speed isn't the only advantage SSDs have up their sleeve. Their lack of moving parts also makes them more durable and resistant to physical shock. Dropped your laptop? With an SSD, there's a good chance your data is still safe and sound. Plus, they're quieter and consume less power, which is a boon for laptop users who value peace and battery life. However, every rose has its thorns, and SSDs are no exception. One of their main drawbacks is cost. They're significantly more expensive than HDDs, especially when it comes to higher capacities. So, if you're on a budget or need a lot of storage, an SSD might not be the most cost-effective option. Another thing to consider is lifespan. Yes, SSDs are durable, but they do have a finite number of read-write cycles. This means that over time, as data is written, erased, and rewritten, the cells in the flash memory wear out. For the average user, this isn't usually a problem, as it would take years of heavy use to exhaust these cycles. But for power users or data centers, where large amounts of data are constantly being written, this could be a limiting factor, so where does this leave us? SSDs are undeniably fast, durable, and energy efficient, but they're also more expensive and have a finite lifespan. They're a fantastic choice if speed is a priority and you're willing to pay a premium for it. SSDs are a solid choice if speed is your priority, but remember, this comes at a price. 
Finally, we have the M2, the newest and fastest storage solution on the market. This little guy is not just a new kid on the block, it's a speedster, a game changer, a revolution in personal computing. So what makes the M2 different? Well, it's not just about the speed, although that's certainly a big part of it. The M2 operates via the NVM protocol, which stands for Non-Volatile Memory Express. It's a mouthful, sure, but what it means is that it can access data at lightning speed, far outstripping traditional HDDs, and even its elder sibling, the SSD. But the M2 isn't just a one-trick pony. Its compact size is another feature that sets it apart. Imagine a stick of gum that's about the size of an M2 drive. This makes it perfect for slim notebooks and compact desktops where space is at a premium. Yet, like all good things, the M2 comes with its own set of challenges. For starters, the cost. These drives don't come cheap. You're paying for the cutting-edge technology, the speed, the compactness. So, if you're on a budget, the M2 might not be the best fit for you. And then there's compatibility. Not all motherboards can accommodate an M2 drive. Older systems, in particular, might struggle. So before you rush out to buy one, make sure your system can actually support it. There's also the issue of heat. These drives can run hot, especially when they're working hard. So adequate cooling is necessary to prevent overheating and ensure the longevity of the drive. All in all, the M2 drive is a powerful high-speed storage solution that offers significant benefits, especially for modern high-performance systems. It's not without its drawbacks, of course, but if speed and compactness are what you're after, it's hard to beat the M2. M2 drives may be the future of storage, but ensure your system can accommodate them before taking the leap. Now that we've covered the three main types of storage, it's time to recap and draw some conclusions. Let's start with the tried and true, the hard disk drive or HDD. The granddaddy of computer storage, the HDD has been around for decades. It's a mechanical device, which means it has moving parts. Now this can make it a bit slower and more prone to failure than other types, but it also means you can get a lot of storage for relatively little money. If you're looking to store a large amount of data without breaking the bank, an HDD could be the way to go. Next up, we have the solid state drive or SSD. The SSD is like the sporty younger sibling of the HDD. It's all about speed. An SSD has no moving parts, which makes it faster and more reliable than an HDD. It's great for tasks that require quick access to data, like booting up your operating system or launching applications. But this speed comes at a cost. SSDs are more expensive than HDDs, so they might not be the best choice if you're on a tight budget. And then there's the M2, the new kid on the block. The M2 takes the speed of the SSD and kicks it up a notch. It's even faster and more compact than an SSD which makes it perfect for high-performance tasks like gaming or video editing. But like the SSD, the M2 comes with a higher price tag. It's also not compatible with all systems. So you'll need to check your motherboard before you invest in one. So, which one should you choose? Well, it all depends on your needs. If you're a casual user who mainly uses your computer for web browsing and word processing, an HDD might be all you need. If you're a gamer or power user who needs quick access to large amounts of data, an SSD or M2 could be worth the investment, and if you're a professional who needs to store and access large files quickly, you might want to consider a combination of all three. But remember, no matter which type of storage you choose, it's important to back up your data regularly. Even the most reliable storage device can fail, and you don't want to lose all your important files. So there you have it, a quick recap of the three main types of computer storage. Each has its own strengths and weaknesses, and the best one for you depends on your specific needs and budget. Remember, the best storage solution for you depends on your specific needs and budget. So choose wisely and happy computing. That wraps it up for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and ring that notification bell to stay updated on our latest content. Let us know in the comments what you thought of the video and what we should talk about in the next one. This would help us continue growing and reach more people, so we thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next video. Until then, stay focused, stay inspired, and keep chasing your dreams. Goodbye.